Hey guys, FX Hippo here. Um, I just have a quick tutorial for you guys, uh, just to show how you can take the free uh, 3D models from um, from Google's 3D warehouse into SketchUp and then over into Cinema 4D. So start off by going into Google and just type in 3D warehouse, and it should be the first one that pops up. So let's get a model of, let's say, a jet. Okay, we can take the, let's take this Bombardier, yeah. So these are all free, and it says um, in Google's terms of use that if you put your model on the internet, you can expect to be used by others uh, royalty-free, so for free. So you go here to download model, and you go uh, to latest version, and you op uh, save, save file. Okay, and you open that with SketchUp. Please note that you do need uh, SketchUp Pro. Um, this will not work with just the normal free SketchUp. So there's your model. Um, that's all you pretty much need to do. You will, then you go to File. So let's make this a bit bigger. Go to File, Export 3D Model. Save it on the desktop. Uh, private jet C4D, and you can either make it a 3ds file, which I usually do, or a um, F FBX file works as well, or a OBJ file. <coughs> Let's just stick with 3ds file. Now there are some options you can change, but um, if you just leave it as is, it should come up through. Should come through. Um, Come through good. So export that. Might take a few a few seconds. Just say yes. <coughs> All right. So then you minimize that. You find where you've saved your model. Um, so where did I save it? Here we go. Private jet C4D. Drag it into Cinema 4D. Um, and you can scale it. Scale it to 20. It usually comes in as one, but you can go for 20. It's fine or whatever. You can just 10, 15, it's all good. So there it is. Um, now, the problem with this is it's not always going to look perfect because of all the different vertices that um, that SketchUp uses. But it will look pretty cool once you render it. I mean, you can... Obviously, it looks a bit dodgy here on the nose. But, I mean, um, I'll go into some further tricks of how to smooth that out. But this was just a basic tutorial of showing you how to get um, how to get SketchUp models into Cinema 4D from Google SketchUp Pro. So just to just to recap, you go to Google Warehouse, uh, you type in a model, you download the latest version, you open it with SketchUp Pro, <coughs> you have a file, export 3D model, you save your model as a 3DS. You open that file, you drag it onto the Cinema 4D icon, um, and it'll pop up here. You could say scale yes to 20, it's usually a good size, or it depends on the model as well. But then your model will come through like this. So, and then you can play around. Anyone a bit more advanced than Cinema 4D can go into the different uh, the lighting setups, etc., just to make it as good as possible. So, I hope that helped. Um, I think it's a really cool feature uh, from SketchUp, and it's good for those people who don't really have the skills in building models in uh, in Cinema 4D. So this has been FX Hippo with a quick tutorial. I hope that helped, and I'll see you guys soon.